we may attain festivities of unending splendor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today. The Alpha and the Omega. All time belongs to him and all the ages. To him be glory and power through every age, forever and ever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. Amen. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds.
chair. Exalt, let them exalt the hosts of heaven. Exalt, let angel ministers of God exalt. Let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud our mighty King's triumph. Be glad, let earth be glad, as glory floods her. Ablaze with light from her eternal King. Let all corners of the earth be glad, knowing an end to gloom and darkness. Rejoice, let Mother Church also rejoice, arrayed with the lightning of His glory. Let this holy building shake with joy, filled with the mighty voices of the people. 
It is truly right and just, with ardent love of mind and heart, and with devoted service of our voice, to acclaim our God invisible, the Almighty Father, and Jesus Christ, our Lord, His Son, His only begotten, who for our sake paid Adam's debt to the Eternal Father, and pouring out his own dear blood, wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness. These then are the feasts of Passover, in which is slain the Lamb, the one true Lamb, whose blood anoints the doorposts of believers. This is the night when once you led your forefathers, Israel's children, from slavery in Egypt and made them pass dry shod through the Red Sea. This is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin. This is the night that even now throughout the world sets Christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones. This is the night when Christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld. Our birth would have been no gain had we not been redeemed. O oh, wonder of your humble care for us, O oh, love, O oh, charity beyond all telling. To ransom a slave, you gave away your son. O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam, destroyed completely by the death of Christ. O oh, happy fault that earned so great, so glorious a Redeemer. O oh, truly blessed night, worthy alone to know the time and hour when Christ rose from the underworld. This is the night of which it is written, the night shall be as bright as day, dazzling is the night for me and full of gladness. The sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness, washes faults away, restores innocence to the fallen, and joy to mourners, drives out hatred, fosters concord, and brings down the mighty. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honor. 
a fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing of its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees to build a torch so precious. O oh, truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray you that this candle, hallowed to the honor of your name, may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May this flame be found still burning by the morning star, the one morning star who never sets, Christ your Son, who coming back from death's domain, has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the Word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved His people. And in these, the last days, has sent us His Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, let us make men in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created men in his image, in the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See? I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he looked at.
Let us pray. O God, who wonderfully created human nature and still more wonderfully redeemed it, grant us, we pray, to set our minds against the enticements of sin that we may merit to attain eternal joys. Through Christ our Lord. Lectura del libro del Éxodo. En aquellos días dijo el Señor a Moisés, ¿por qué sigues clamando a mí? Diles a los israelitas que se pongan en marcha, y tú alza tu bastón, extiende tu mano sobre el mar y divídelo, para que los israelitas entren en el mar sin mojarse. Yo voy a endurecer el corazón de los egipcios para que los persigan y me cubriré de gloria a expensas del faraón y de todo su ejército, de sus carros y jinetes. Cuando me haya cubierto de gloria a expensas del faraón, de sus carros y jinetes, los egipcios sabrán que yo soy el Señor. El ángel del Señor que iba al frente de las huestes de Israel, se colocó tras ellas, y la columna de nubes que iba adelante también se desplazó y se puso a sus espaldas, entre el campamento de los israelitas y el campamento de los egipcios. La nube era tinieblas para unos y claridad para otros, y así los ejércitos no trabaron contacto durante toda la noche. Moisés extendió la mano sobre el mar y el Señor hizo su soplar durante toda la noche un fuerte viento del este que secó el mar y dividió las aguas. Los israelitas entraron en el mar y no se mojaban, mientras las aguas formaban una muralla a su derecha y a su izquierda. Los egipcios se lanzaron en su persecución y toda la caballería del faraón, sus carros y jinetes entraron tras ellos en el mar. Hacia el amanecer, el Señor miró desde la columna de fuego y humo al ejército de los egipcios y sembró entre ellos el pánico. Trabó las ruedas de sus carros de suerte que no avanzaban sino pesadamente. Dijeron entonces los egipcios, huyamos de Israel, porque el Señor lucha en su favor contra Egipto. Entonces el Señor le dijo a Moisés, extiende tu mano sobre el mar para que vuelvan las aguas sobre los egipcios, sus carros y sus jinetes. Y extendió Moisés su mano sobre el mar y al amanecer las aguas volvieron a su sitio, de suerte que al huir los egipcios se encontraron con ellas y el Señor los derribó en medio del mar. Volvieron las aguas y cubrieron los carros, a los jinetes y a todo el ejército del faraón que se había metido en el mar para perseguir a Israel. Ni uno solo se salvó, pero los hijos de Israel caminaban por lo seco en medio del mar. Las aguas les hacían murallas a derecha e izquierda. Aquel día salvó el Señor a Israel de las manos de Egipto. Israel vio a los egipcios muertos en la orilla del mar. Israel vio la mano fuerte del Señor sobre los egipcios, y el pueblo temió al Señor y creyó en el Señor y en Moisés, su siervo. Entonces Moisés y los hijos de Israel cantaron este cántico al Señor. Palabra de Dios.
Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria. Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria. Cantemos al Señor, sublime su victoria. y mi poder es el Señor, Él fue mi salvación, Él es mi Dios, yo lo alabaré, el Dios de mis padres, yo lo ensalzaré. Los introduces y los plantas en el monte de tu heredad, lugar del que hiciste tu trono, Señor. Santuario, Señor, que fundaron tus manos. El Señor reina por siempre, jamás. Cante. Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from Pharaoh's persecution by the power of your right hand, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth. Grant, we pray, that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel's birthright. Through Christ our Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come, receive grain and eat. Come, without paying and without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread? Your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me, and you shall eat well. You shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully. Listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David. As I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations, so shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, who has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. 
For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveil the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord,
Let us pray. O God, who make this most holy, sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that renewed in mind and body we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Lecture dans l'aide à peut pas l'écrire l'église ou homme non. Frère mieux, c'est mieux. Est-ce que nous pas connais? Tout le monde qui baptisé dans Jésus, c'est dans la moli nous baptisé. Nous t'es enterré à Clitou, non grâce à la mort. Nous t'es baptisé, yon. Les lui lever sorti parmi moi, grâce à pouvoir papa. Nous même tout, nous capables de vivre l'autre la vie tout neuf. Réellement vrai, si nous faisons une acte, nous avons l'amour mort tant que l'on mort par l'ion, nous faisons une acte tout, nous avons levé bien vivant tant que l'on levé. Nous connaissons ça bien. Nous longtemps qui dans nous, qui te fait nous faire péché, pas esclave péché encore. Réellement vrai. Yon moun ki mouri, li fin de livre en bas péché yon. Si nou mouri a Chris lan, nou kwe na va viv a Klitsou. Nou konne, le ve Chris lan le ve soti pa mi moyo, li pap mouri anko. La mor pap komande sou li anko. Se kon sa, mouri li mouri yon, se pou péché li mouri yon seul fwa tou. Viv la viv lan, c'est pour bon Dieu la vivre. Consatou, gardez tête nous, tant que monde qui mourit pour péché, même mais qu'à vivre pour bon Dieu, même Jean à Jésus-Christ. Parole, bon Dieu. Merci, bon merci. Dieu. Merci. merci. Sequence. 
El Señor esté con ustedes. Lectura del Santo Evangelio según San Mateo. Transcurrido el sábado, al amanecer del primer día de la semana, María Magdalena y la otra María fueron a ver el sepulcro. De pronto se produjo un gran temblor, porque el ángel del Señor bajó del cielo y acercándose al sepulcro, hizo rodar la piedra que lo tapaba y se sentó encima de ella. Su rostro brillaba como el relámpago y sus vestiduras eran blancas como la nieve. Los guardias, atemorizados ante él, se pusieron a temblar y se quedaron como muertos. El ángel se dirigió a las mujeres y les dijo, «No teman, ya sé que buscan a Jesús, el Crucificado. No está aquí, ha resucitado, como lo había dicho. Vengan a ver el lugar donde lo habían puesto. Y ahora vayan deprisa a decirle a sus discípulos, «Ha resucitado de entre los muertos e irá delante de ustedes a Galilea. Allá lo verán. Eso es todo». 
Ellas se alejaron a toda prisa del sepulcro y llenas de temor y de gran alegría, corrieron a dar la noticia a los discípulos. Pero de repente Jesús les salió al encuentro y las saludó. Ellas se le acercaron, le abrazaron los pies y lo adoraron. Entonces les dijo Jesús, no tengan miedo, vayan a decir a mis hermanos que se dirijan a Galilea, allá me verán. Palabra del Señor. Ven a ti, Señor Jesús. The first reading of tonight's vigil service from the book of Genesis recalls the mystery of creation, the mystery of man, male and female. He created them, the only creatures that God made for himself. We were created in the image and likeness of this God who is love. Understanding that we are made in the image and likeness of God can help us to understand why God put into the humanity of man and women the vocation and thus the capacity and the responsibility of love and communion. But this original plan of God was frustrated by man's original sin, his turning away from God. Without God, Man's heart created for God remained restless and could not attain by its own power the love and communion it yearned for. But God in his divine mercy did not give up on his creation. The other scripture readings of tonight's vigil offered us a brief summary of salvation history. The history of God's search for his lost creatures in order to offer us once again renewed friendship with him and to give us the means to fulfill our vocation, the vocation of our human existence for love and communion. La primera lectura de Génesis recuerda el misterio de creación, el misterio de hombre, hombre y mujer, él los creyó, las únicas criaturas que Dios hizo para sí mismo. Fuimos creados en la imagen y la semejanza de este Dios que es amor. El que fuimos creados a la imagen y semejanza de Dios puede ayudarnos a entender por qué Dios puso en la humanidad del hombre y de la mujer la vocación y así la capacidad y la responsabilidad de amor y comunión. Para saison Kagamna, nos ha deseado comprendre plus bien qu'il es bon dieu pour nous. Nous voyons jouk qui point li remen, jouk Jésus by tête li pour nous. Jodi amen bon dieu papa, où était Jésus en bas pour voir la mort? Et pour être Jésus, il casse toute chaîne esclavage sous terre. Dans la mort, Jésus est au plan jeune pour enterrer tout péché, pour nous débarrasser à toute vie l'idée, pour nous racher tout mauvais sentiment dans le cœur. Comme ça, ça a dans le gâté, Jésus vient remettre en forme. Nali grâce à baptême nous, nous tournons frère Axelio. In the fullness of time, 
God the Father sent his only Son, who, though remaining truly God, became truly one of us in all things but sin. In Christ, creation is set aright. It is placed back on its original course. What the old Adam lost for himself and his descendants, the new Adam, Jesus Christ, has won anew for those who would become his brothers and sisters in baptism. Adam and Eve turned us away from God and thus from the possibility of being fully what we were created to be. In Jesus, we turn back to God. And through the power of his death and resurrection, he redeems all that is truly human. By the gift of his spirit, Christ makes it possible for us to live no longer for ourselves, but for him. Este plan original de Dios se frustró por el pecado original del hombre que le apartó de Dios. Sin Dios, el corazón del hombre creado para Dios permaneció agitado y no podía alcanzar por su propio poder el amor y la comunión que tanto anhelaba. Pero Dios, por su divina misericordia, no se dejó por vencido. Los demás, las lecturas de las, de las escrituras de la vigilia nos ofrecieron un breve resumen de la historia de salvación. Como Dios salió a buscarnos a fin de ofrecernos la amistad con Él para darnos los medios de realizar nuestra vocación, la vocación de nuestra existencia humana, al amor y a la comunión. En la plenitud del tiempo, Dios envió a su único Hijo, a quien permaneciendo realmente Dios, se hizo realmente uno de nosotros en todas las cosas sino el pecado lo que viejo Adán perdió para él y sus descendientes el nuevo Adán Jesucristo ha ganado de nuevo para aquellos que se harían sus hermanos y hermanas en el bautismo Our Lenten observance these past 40 days has been in a reactment in our lives of the human story recounted in salvation history, the story of mankind's journey back home to God, the story of our call to conversion of mind and heart by a loving and merciful God, a God who continues to call us to communion with himself. Tonight, that journey culminates for our catechumens and baptism, through which they become a new creation in Christ. And for us who have been baptized, that journey culminates tonight in the renewal of our baptismal promises. Baptism recalls our own Passover, foreshadowed in the exodus of the Hebrews. We are delivered from the slavery of sin for the new life of grace. That light the new light of the Paschal candle symbolizes the light of Christ, which the darkness of sin and death could not overcome. On this beautiful night, his light brightens our way and strengthens our hope. Light dispels darkness, life overcomes death, and love conquers sin. Aswea, in Katmon ki pral Mais nous-mêmes qui baptisés déjà, nous gagnons pour nous renouveler l'engagement, nous, ça nous dépend jour nous débaptiser. Pour nous pas vivre pour être nous encore, mais pour nous vivre pour bon Dieu et pour faire accès à nous. Nous pour nous faire communier. Ça veut dire pour nous faire yon avec bon Dieu, nous manger, nous manger corps avec sans Christ là. Comme ça, fait pas que nous, les dix entrées pifons, n'a même ça pour nous vivre avec plus conscience jusqu'à nous arriver vivre ensemble avec Christ là, n'a pas igual qui n'a ciel là. 
we are baptized so that we can receive Holy Communion. For this reason, the sacrament of Christ's body and blood is considered the final sacrament of Christian initiation. For in our communion with Christ, we become one with God and one with all the members of his mystical body, the Church. It is the means through which God helps his creation, renewed in grace, to attain its vocation for love and communion. It is the daily bread for which Christ taught us to pray, the daily bread, the viaticum, that sustains us on life's journey to the Father's house. Por su muerte y resurrección, Jesús redime todo lo que es realmente humano. Por el don de su Espíritu, Cristo hace posible que vivamos ya por nosotros, sino para Él. Como nuestra jornada durante la cuaresma nos recordaba, Dios sigue llamándonos a la comunión con Él. Esta noche nuestros catecúmenos van a ser bautizados. Llegarán a ser una nueva creación en Cristo. Y nosotros que ya hemos sido bautizados, después de una cuaresma de oración y penitencia, renovaremos nuestras promesas bautismales. Esta nueva vida que celebramos esta noche es el regalo más precioso del Señor resucitado a cada uno de nosotros. Esta nueva vida es a la vez un don de Dios y una tarea para nosotros. En su resurrección, Cristo renueva todo lo que es realmente humano en nuestras vidas. Por el regalo de su Espíritu, Él hace posible que vivamos ya para nosotros, sino para Él. La fe pac, Jésus fait tout pagaille, vin nouveau. Libano yon la vie tout neuf. La vie ça, c'est un bel cadeau lié pour nous. Mais en même temps, c'est une responsabilité pour nous. Pour nous pas vivre dans la fin noir, mais nous, pour nous être vivre dans la lumière. This new life we celebrate tonight is the precious gift of the risen Lord to each one of us. May this life received as a gift, but also entrusted to us as a task, grow within each one of us, so as to produce in our lives its fruits of love, joy, and peace, the fruits of eternal life. In his resurrection, Christ renews all that is truly human in our lives. By the gift of his Spirit, he makes it possible for us to live no longer for ourselves, but for him. Alleluia. Dearly beloved, with one heart and one soul, let us by our prayers come to the aid of these, our brothers and sisters, and their blessed hope, so that as they approach the font of rebirth, the Almighty Father may bestow on them all his merciful help. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us. Saint Michael. 
disciples of God, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Saint Paul, Saint Andrew, Saint John, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Stephen, Saint Ignatius of Antioch, Saint Lawrence, Saint Perpetua and Saint Felicity, Saint Agnes, Saint Gregory, Saint Augustine, Saint Athanasius, Saint Basil, Saint Martin, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint John Vianney, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Teresa of Jesus, all holy men and women, saints of God. Lord, be merciful. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from everlasting death. Lord, deliver us, we pray, by your incarnation. Merciful to us sinners, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Bring these chosen ones to new birth by the grace of baptism, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Jesus, Son of the living God, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Christ, hear. Graciously hear us, Christ graciously hear us. Almighty, ever living God, be present by the mysteries of your great law and send forth the spirit of adoption to create the new peoples brought to birth for you in the font of baptism, so that what is to be carried out by our humbly, humble service may be brought to the fulfillment of your almighty power through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who by invisible power accomplish a wondrous effect through sacramental signs, and who in many ways have prepared water, your creation, to show forth the grace of baptism. O God, whose spirit in the first moments of the world's creation hovered over the waters so that the very substance of water would even then take to itself the power to sanctify. O God, who by the outpouring of the of the flood and foreshadowed regeneration so that from the mystery of one and the same element of water would come an end to vice and a beginning of virtue. O God, who caused the children of Abraham to pass dry shod through the Red Sea so that the chosen people set free from slavery to Pharaoh would prefigure the people of the baptized. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan was anointed with the Holy Spirit 
and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side, along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the fountain of baptism. May this water, received, received by the Holy Spirit, the grace of your only begotten Son, so that hu human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into his death may rise again to life with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now I will ask those who are being presented for baptism to make their profession of faith. And I would ask all of you, after this Lent of prayer and fasting, to renew your own profession of faith together with them. And so I ask all of you, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, who was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. Amen. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? Shaheem, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your name? Elena. Turn her head sideways. Turn her head sideways. Elena, I baptize you in the name of the Father. Sideways, like I said. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Jasmine, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Luis, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
You have become new creations and have clothed yourself in Christ. May your baptismal garments be a sign of your new state in life as a child of God. And may you bring this garment unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. Receive the light of Christ. Go back to your place. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. Receive the light of Christ. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of the light and keep the flame of faith alive in your hearts. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit upon these newly baptized, to strengthen them with his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All-powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence, Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay. Okay. Let them come up with their sponsors. Out of the way. Joseph, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rose, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Martin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. As you have renewed the baptismal promises that you made on the day of your baptism, I will now sprinkle you with the water that recalls to us the life that we received when we too were baptized. I saw water flowing From the right side of the temple, from the right side of the temple, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The water brought God's love. Salvation. And, salvation and the people sang in praise and the people sang in praise Alleluia Alleluia Alleluia
I saw water flowing. I saw water flowing. From the right side of the temple. From the right side of the temple. Alleluia. 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 God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever.
Le Maxime, nous nous appuyons ensemble pour mettre la content la messe qui service l'église Léa. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this paschal sacrament. one in mind and heart, so that with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and with me, your unworthy servant, with my assistant bishop and all those who holding to the truth and on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to, to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh, We venerate especially the most glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, her blessed, jo her blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all the saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. 
Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, and the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all the saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Señor Jesucristo, que dijiste a tus apóstoles la paz os dejo mi paz os doy. No tenga en cuenta nuestros pecados, sino la fe de tu iglesia, conforme a tu palabra, concederle la paz y la unidad de tu reino donde vives por los siglos de los siglos. Que posegamet la vec moto. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Este es el Cordero de Dios que quita el pecado del mundo. Dichosos los invitados a la cena del Señor. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. A la chance pour mon saio, j'ai invité ben manger, manger ça. Mais j'ai mouton bon Dieu qui wete péché sur terre. Oh, Jesus Christ, so thank you for having me back to our family. San Jesus Christ, so thank you for having me back to our family. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. 
Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Jésus te montre les terres maintenant, même 
Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you that throughout this day of Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. 
And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts which are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever.